Okay, we're going to do an example of a dilation here, and then you'll have some um, other practice to do later on in the Desmos activity. So we're doing a dilation centered at zero, zero. So I'm going to start by drawing in the center of dilation right here. So that's the center of dilation. That's where I'm always going to go back to when I start counting to create my new points. And the scale factor is two. So before I even begin, I'm going to think about what that scale factor means. Um, because it's greater than one, I know that means we're going to be moving even further away from the center of dilation, and we'll end up with a triangle that is larger than the original triangle. Okay, so let's start with point A. So I'm going to draw myself a little table over here where I can log what direction and how far I have to move to get from the center of dilation to point A. So I can see that I have to move up to right one. So I'm just going to record that here. So I suggest that you do this. Um, I'll leave you a text box so that you can do it on Desmos if you need to, um, but you can also just write it down on a piece of paper. So a prime is going to be two times that distance since k equals two. So it will be the same direction, so up, but two times two. So up four, right two. So I've just doubled that distance. So to um, graph where a prime should be, I go back to the center of dilation, and I'm going to count up four, right two. So this will be the location of a prime. All right, we're going to do the same thing for B. So to get from the center of dilation to point B, I have to go up two and write one, two, three, four. So that means B prime will be the same direction, but two times the distance. So up four right eight so back to always go back to the center of dilation which in this case is the origin and we will go up four one two three four right eight so this is the location of b prime finally we're going to do the same thing with c so I'm not going to draw this one quite as much to get from the center of dilation to point C. It's up 4, right 1. So that means C prime will be double that. It's going to be up 8, right 2. So I go back to the center of dilation and I count up 8, right 2. So this is the location of C prime. Then my final step is just to connect those. Like so. So this is my new triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime. I can tell, yes, it is further away from the center of dilation, which is what should have happened since the scale factor of two is greater than zero. And I can tell that my new triangle is larger than the original triangle that I started with. There are some other things that I can check as well. So we talked about before, when we do a dilation, the size is changing. So the image and the pre-image are not congruent to each other, but they are similar. So we should still have the same general shape here. I started with, let's outline this in orange. I started with one vertical side and one horizontal side. In my new triangle, I also have one vertical side and one horizontal side. I had a right angle here at A a prime is also a right angle. So I'm still maintaining the same shape, even though the size has gotten larger.